Uh, let me go ahead and just get a pet check on Jack Hoff. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another LSPDFR tutorial and in today's video we are installing stop the ped ultimate questions for stop the ped and search items reborn so three things today that are a must have in your LSPDFR build. I'll have all the links to everything in the description right at the top. Otherwise, you can go to my mods list link that's down there also, and you'll find everything else that I use that's in my game. In this video, we're just installing these three. First thing we're gonna start off with is stop the ped. I'm gonna try and go through this as in depth and as fast as possible without missing any of the key parts. So make sure you're really listening and following along. Remember, I'm kind of doing this for the newer players. If you're new, this is going to help you a lot. We're going to start off with Stop the Ped. We're going to go ahead and just download it. As you can see, we're at the site right here. So make sure you don't click on anything else. Just click on what I'm clicking on and make sure you have like an ad blocker. That also helps too. Uh, so you can read up on all this, get a little, you know, deeper view of what Stop the Ped is about, but we're just going to scroll on down. I'm not going to read it to you. Once you see this box right here, we're just going to hit this down arrow and it should install right there. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and open that up and make sure you have WinRAR installed. I'm going to leave that right there and I'm also going to install Ultimate Questions, which I thought I did, but I'm just going to do it again. Uh, it'll look like this. Download this file. We're going to do the top one, which is 2.0.1. Download that. It'll take five seconds. There we go. I'm also going to open that up. X out of that. Leave that there. Moving on. Search items reborn. Shout out to Officer34 for coming up with this because this is definitely enhances your, your searching of peds and vehicles. So we're going to go ahead and download this file. Let's do the top one. Again, it'll take five seconds. And I'm going to try and go through this as fast as I can, guys. So bear with me. I'm going to go ahead and open that up also. And now we are good to go. So we have search items reborn by Officer34. Uh, we got ultimate questions by Sirius313 and Echo Wolf. Go ahead and X out of that. And then we got Stop the Ped by Bajojo. So we can go ahead and X out of that also. Now, what we got to do is open up our GTA 5 directory. So I have mine shortcutted on the desktop. Uh, if you guys don't know how to find it, you are way too far ahead for installations. You should know this by now. So I already have Stop the Ped installed, but I'm just going to do it again. So. Uh, you're going to find the Stop the Ped download, which we have right here. So just make sure you have enough room for both files. So what we're going to do is go to Stop the Ped in the download, double click it. And then you have these three right here. So what you're going to do is just click on both of those. You're going to hold the left control key, hover over both and just click them. So they're both highlighted and you're just going to drag and drop. And I'm going to replace because I already have them. So you can actually X out of Stop the Ped. And we're going to make a few adjustments real quick before we install the others. Uh, so we're going to go to LSPDFR first. We're going to go to LSPDFR first. Double click that. You're going to go to Keys. And you're going to make sure you have Stop Ped's key right here set to none. Just like that. All right. Moving on down. You're going to want to make sure you have Traffic Stop Interact also set to none. Because these are LSPDFR base games menus that are like Stop the Ped, but we don't want those anymore. Those will just overlay if we don't clear them. So make sure you set both of those to none. After you do that, just hit File, Save, and just X out of it. Moving on down, you're going to go to the LSPDFR INI. Just double click that. And from here, you're going to change Ambient Disable Player Flashlight Override to True, just like that. All right, so just change it to true, all lowercase. After you've done that, make sure you go down to this setting right here. Uh, this is optional. I did it. I saw it, and I just wanted to make sure I disabled it. So it's disable camera focus. I'm going to set that to true. So this is when you get into a pursuit, and your camera will focus. I kind of find that annoying, so I just set that to true. And if you like that camera focus, just leave it at false. Uh, but I set it to true. Now, working from here, we're just going to go ahead and hit file, save, and X out of it. Now we're good to go from there. So we're just going to go back to our directory main page. We're going to go to plugins, LSPDFR. And then in here, what you're going to do is delete vocal dispatch and police smart radio. You do not need those. Those are old. So you're just going to highlight both by holding left control and clicking on each one. Right click on one of those highlighted files and delete. So now you have just the basics. So we're going to go into the Stop the Ped INI to go through some of the settings. Um, I'm not going to change too much. It's really not needed. I stick with the basics. I do that on my actual build. And it's it's just good to get a feel of the game. You can change it as you go. It's really based on preference. So just double click on that. And in here is where you find all the key binds for everything. So stopping the Ped is E, 
Uh, context menu is G, so that's if you're in your vehicle or next to your vehicle, or even on foot. Um, that's how you search a body, search a vehicle, and I believe requesting a tow truck also. That's what context menu does, and gunpoint pursuit. So if you're aiming at someone and you want them to turn into a pursuit, you could double tap T, and he'll start to run and actually be a pursuit, which is a very cool function. And I actually do that a lot on my streams to make it more entertaining for my viewers. And moving on down, you have some shortcut keys to pat people down. Uh, another key bind to grab someone without going through the menu is just left control T. That'll actually give you a function to grab someone without going through the menu. You could touch up on all this info by just reading. This is really a lot of preference based settings. So if you want the probability of resistance of a pet, you could turn this up again just follow the diagram of what uh you know requirements are so zero between zero and 100 we have resistance probability at three so it's a very low chance uh and if he does resist there is a 50 percent chance that he'll attack us so that's kind of how that probability works right there so a three percent chance he'll resist and if he does it'll be a 50 percent chance he'll attack so if you want more action on your patrols turn them up blast them <laughs> I wouldn't say set them at 100, but I'd actually leave attack at 50 and then maybe just turn this up a little. That's up to you. I'm going to leave it as it is. Uh, going on down, you can see a lot of other probability stuff. What I change is the sprint boost duration, which is right here. Now, when you're sprinting, you can hit the enter key and you'll actually do a extra boost sprint to catch up to someone. So I'm going to change this to five seconds because I want that sprint boost to last for five seconds. Uh, you could change the intensity. I wouldn't recommend doing that. It's just unrealistic. Uh, sprint boost is already unrealistic. <laughs> so just leave that as it is. So moving on down, you could see some more options, more uh, probability stuff if you want to change it. Really, it's again, it's all preference. I just leave it how it is. Uh, your taser does have a laser. You can actually turn that off in game by aiming your taser, holding the T key, and it'll turn the laser off. Another cool function is when you're sprinting at a suspect and you want to tackle them, you can get near the suspect and hit the backspace key to actually tackle. I know there is a spot for tackle. I must have. Oh, right, right up here. Tackle pet key. Back. So that's the backspace key. If you go somewhat down further you'll see the ammo and weapon stuff you can change the ammo that you want to start with i leave it as it is uh, maybe if you do want an extra few bullets change it to like 60 i don't know up to you another cool function in here is you can actually change the rifle that you want that's in your vehicle so your shotgun and your carbine rifle these don't have to be though so if you want the special carbine rifle instead of the regular carbine you can go to this website right here copy and paste this into a new tab on google and it'll take you directly to where all the weapons are listed with their actual name so you'll take that name from that website so say if i want the special carbine i'll take that copy and paste it right into here to replace this and once you've pasted it into here and saved it you go into game you'll see that you'll have that special carbine in your vehicle which is a really really cool function that a lot of people don't know about that you could change out your weapons through stop the pet so again same thing goes with shotgun if you don't want the pump say you want the assault shotgun you could definitely find that assault shotgun name under this website uh so again that that's all preference i just leave it as it is moving on down just more extra stuff if you want to go in depth i really don't do too much not e even in my actual game i really don't do that much so from here we're pretty much set to go let's go ahead and hit file save and x out so we are done with stop the ped stop the peds installed we're going to move on to ultimate questions and search items reborn now these are optional you don't have to do these but they definitely enhance your patrols because you get more questions you can go further with investigations and search items gives you a whole list of extra items better items in vehicles and on pets uh, which is amazing by the way we're going to do ultimate questions so what we're going to do here is make sure you have the ultimate questions up double click on it and then plugins lspdfr snap the ped and you have these two right here we're going to do that same thing so from here we're in our plugins folder we're going to go to stop the ped and you'll see that we have custom questions and traffic stop questions and we also have that same thing in here we're just going to replace them we're just going to take these two highlight over both drag and drop replace and now that already added in all the new questions and traffic stop questions so from here we can just exit out of ultimate questions and just go back to your main page directory so we are done with that one very easy just a replace file very very simple now the last one is search items reborn we're going to go ahead and double click on that we're going to double click on grand theft auto again 
read the readme if you're very, very new, okay? He says to set these at these settings, red at five, yellow at 15, green at 80, to make it more realistic. So we're gonna go to Grand Theft Auto 5, plugins, LSPDFR, and you're gonna follow the same pathway, all right? So back to it, Grand Theft Auto 5, plugins, we're gonna go over here, plugins, LSPDFR, LSPDFR, stop the pad, stop the pet now as you can see we have pat down items and vehicle items we also have that same thing in here vehicle items and pat down items we're gonna take these two drag and drop we're gonna replace those two files you guys did see back at that readme he put make sure or he recommends to set these at this and this is more realistic by the way so we're gonna do this uh we're gonna go back a few pages we're gonna go to the stop the ped ini you guys may have seen these settings so we're gonna double click back into this we're gonna scroll on down until we see searching settings or the search settings so i think we passed it right here that was near the top so from the top if you scroll on down it is right here so red items yellow items and green items so he said to set them to 5 15 and 80. so we're gonna do that same thing in here we're gonna do 5 15 and 80. so this is more realistic and he recommends it also and i really do recommend taking his advice we're gonna go ahead and hit file and save and we are good to go i'll just exit out of everything there we go stop the ped ultimate questions and search items reborn all installed you can exit out of your directory so i'm gonna go ahead and hop into the game to show you guys how everything works from traffic stops to stopping peds on the street to pursuing someone questioning and searching vehicles so let's go ahead and hop into the game so i'm gonna show you guys this error i've been happening i think i've showed it on one of my past tutorials i'm gonna boot up rage you guys are gonna see this error i have a lot of people get this and they don't know the workaround right here steam failed to initialize just hit okay there's real no fix to that i haven't found one so what i do is i go to steam and you're gonna boot up grand theft auto 5 just like this so play play grand theft auto 5 hit play let it load you can exit out of steam let this boot up a little bit and then you're gonna launch rage from the desktop as that's loading and this will get it to boot up somehow it just works so i'll see you guys inside the game with lspdfr loaded up all right, we are inside the game with LSPDFR all loaded up, and we have ultimate backup and stop the ped loaded in. So once you guys force duty, you guys will see the pop-ups on the bottom left. I'm not going to show you guys how to boot up LSPDFR and force duty, because at the beginning of my tutorials, I show you guys how to do that. So we're already inside. I'm going to go ahead and just hop into a vehicle. You can hop into any selection that you want. Just make sure you're on duty for this to work, and I'll show you guys how well this works it works very very well i use it every single time i stream so we're gonna just randomly stop a vehicle we're gonna stop this guy he looks a little suspicious so we're gonna hit left shift to start a traffic stop and when i'm ready to light him up i will so i'll do it right here i really hope he doesn't resist though because i want to show a traffic stop okay so he's stopping right here very bad spot oh well so we're gonna go ahead and get out walk up to his window and we're gonna click e how's it going today sir got your license registration proof insurance on you and all you do is hit all documents kind of role play it out and there you go menu works and look at that we even get vehicle observation we're getting a strong smell of alcohol he also refused to show his vehicle registration and proof of insurance so this is where ultimate questions really comes in handy because if you didn't have this you have like four questions to work with why you need more <laughs> so as you can tell there was some stuff going on with this guy all right we could smell alcohol he refused to show a couple things so we can go under question and look at all these you got documentation so this is where we can ask anything about his registration or his insurance otherwise you could just try and ask again for it maybe he's just being stubborn i don't know He's just being dumb. Uh, you can also do seatbelt checks to see if he's if he's driving with a seatbelt on. You can click on this. It does say at the bottom, driver is safely seat belted. So he's good there. And you can do an intro just saying, you know, good evening. Uh, do you know why I pulled you over? And he'll have dialogue at the bottom right there. It says using me as an excuse to take a break. Ow! I'm using you for a tutorial video <laughs> and you can ask him where he's headed to very very cool stuff so what we're gonna actually do because we smell alcohol i'm gonna have him step out of the vehicle sir i'm gonna have to ask you to step out of the vehicle all right thank you and then from here you could either have him stay right here or you could have him move back towards your cruiser actually on this traffic stop i'm gonna use ultimate backup i'm gonna ask for a local unit to come assist me and now if i want this guy to follow me i'm gonna double tap e to get the Move stop here. the ped menu to work on foot i'm gonna hit e again and there now. we go bottom left alcohol intoxication irregular breathing so i'm gonna have him follow me 
back to my cruiser. So we selected the follow me option, and here we go. I'm gonna face towards him again, hit E, stop following. And we can bring up the menu again by hitting E. Uh, let me go ahead and just get a pet check on Jack Hoff. <laughs> and he does have a warrant too, look at that. This guy's just a mess. No wonder why he refused a couple things. And here we go, let's go ahead and just pat him down. Uh, I'm gonna ask him, do you have anything illegal on you that I need to know about? You're a good citizen, okay. Well, I'm just gonna pat you down for my safety. I'm gonna hit pat down. There's that extra unit coming to assist. We're just gonna see what kind of items Hello? Jack here has on him. And this is where search items reborn comes in handy. So there we go. We got black spray paint um, and just a couple other things. Nothing crazy and dumb that's supposed to be on a person. This is way better stuff. Go ahead and back out of that. I'm going to actually place this guy in cuffs because he does have a warrant. So we're just going to arrest him, get those cuffs on him, and then we're going to search the vehicle also. And also with Stop the Ped, guys, you can do breathalyzers, drug swab tests, and then before I cuffed him, you can do field sobriety, which is awesome. And you could also have your partner cuff him and do a breathalyzer. So here, I'm going to have my partner here do a breathalyzer on, on Jackie, and then you'll see the percentage come up on the bottom left. So that's why this plugin is amazing. Very easy to install too. There we go, 0.107%. This guy is wasted out of his mind. So there we go, we have another charge we could do for him. From here, if you wanna search the vehicle, you're gonna hit G for the context menu. Now this is where you get vehicle checks. Let's do that, why not? You can call a transport for suspect. Search, request tow service, call vehicle insurance. And right there, look at that, no registration. An unknown owner. Approach with caution for the vehicle. And it says, please perform VIN number check. So you can do that if you want. Uh, let's go ahead and search the vehicle. This is where search items reborn comes in handy again too. Right there, you know, nothing crazy unrealistic. This is pretty normal, you know. So let's just go ahead and X out of that. We are good to go. So let's go ahead and call a tow service. We're gonna get a large tow truck because this guy is getting booked. There we go. So we're gonna have our backup unit take him. I'm gonna hit the context menu again by hitting G. Call transport for suspect and he'll take him. And then we'll be code 4108, ready to move on. Tow truck's right there. It'll just pick it up. Turn our lights off and head back out on patrol. Very, very cool plugin. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to kind of use it on foot on a random ped. So I'm just gonna dump my car here. We're gonna get out. And now this is where a lot of functions come in handy when you're on foot. So say if you notice a guy with a gun or a knife walking around and you want him to drop the knife, get on your knees, show me your hands. This is what you do. So pretend this guy's reaching. Uh, we're gonna go up to him, aim our gun. We're gonna double tap E right there. See? He gives up, puts his hands up, gets on his knees, interlock your fingers. He does it automatically. I say it to immerse myself into it. Gonna move up and you can cuff him. Otherwise, I'm just gonna let him go. He didn't do anything wrong. But now I'm gonna demonstrate a pursuit. So say he is taken off. He, we found out he has a warrant um, or he's drunk and he's resisting. So he takes off. And if you want to make it an actual pursuit, you're going to aim at him, either with your gun or your taser, but you have to be aiming. And you can double tap T. There we go. He's taken off. And now the closest unit will actually assist you on this pursuit. And while you're sprinting, you can hit enter for a boost. So see how we're a little slow? We're kind of behind. I'm like, ah, I can't catch up. I'm going to hit enter. That setting we changed, we sprint an extra boost for five seconds. And then I'm going to tackle him by using the backspace key. We're going to pull our taser out. We could tase him. So he's running. Boom, taser. There we go. Now, if you don't want the laser, you can aim and hold T. And it'll turn off the laser. You tase him again. You tase this guy. But And then if you want to turn the laser back on, just hold T again. Whoa, whoa, man. Okay, he's shooting him. I'm just going to show you guys the regular way to kind of go up to a pet. So I'm going to cancel that pursuit. And to cancel a pursuit, you hit N. Terminate pursuit. Just hold enter on terminate. There we go. So here's a guy right here munching on a donut. So I'm going to double... Oh, he's, he's running away. Well, I'm going to double click E to do a normal stop the pet. All right. So double click E. There we go. We got his attention. We're going to hit E. He looks drunk, right? Just from the look of it, this guy looks drunk. So we stopped him. We can ask for his ID. You got your ID on you, sir? He looks like he's been drinking too much. I don't know. And then we can question him that. We can go down to question the pet. Have you been drinking? He says no, he could be lying. You can further the investigation. Um, you can pat him down and here you go. You got field sobriety, walk and turn. 
Uh, horizontal gaze. We'll do that. Let's see if he passes this one. I don't think he is. He's supposed to just follow it with his eyes and not move his head. He's actually passing. He looks drunk. Maybe he's just tired. Yeah, he passed. <laughs> so that's how you stop a ped normally without starting a pursuit. Uh, you can also get a taxi for him. Ambulance, an Uber ride, an Uber. Let's just get him an ambulance. He looks like he's ambulance. drunk. Assistance Even though he passed that test, he, I don't know, he could be injured. So an ambulance will actually come here and pick him up. And there is that EMS unit ready to come pick him up. I'll put him on a stretcher, put him in the back, and he'll be on his merry way. He's getting some help. He looks like he can use it. Watch how they do this. I do this all the time. I get ambulance escorts for pets all the time, especially for MVA incidences. This is what you do. There we go. And then you'll be uh, code four and ready to go back on patrol. So that is how you install Stop the Ped, Ultimate Questions, and Search Items Reborn all in one video. I showed you guys the basic key features. If you have any questions, definitely leave them down below. Uh, but other than that, drop a like and hit that subscribe button if you're new. And that's about it. Stay tuned for the next video. I'll see you all out there. Peace out. Moving a fiction, swerving in a Malibu spaceship.